Do you wanna? Okay, uh, sweet dude, you ready to do this thing? I think so. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let me just sync me audio. Jump. Jump, jump, yeah, jump, jump. jump. <laughs> All right, you want to bring that, us in, or do you want me to bring that, us in? That's that, uh, that hip hop tune, man. <laughs> jump, 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 jump. jump. <laughs> I should have a note block in here playing this, and we should just be doing that in, this, in the yeah, intro. Jump, <laughs> jump, jump, jump. M O P in the house. Cub fan one three five. What's up? Hello, Ren. What's up, man? Dude. The Wow. Wow is what's up. Yeah, you like the house? You like the house? Well, I, the last time I was here, I've got to be honest with you, my friend. I was yep. here, uh, and I was looking down here, and, you know, I was thinking to myself, Cub fan's base is so ugly. I'm sorry, dude, don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> you know, back back when there was, like, nothing here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, t it took me a while to, uh, to build this house, I'd say, like 50 episodes or so. Yeah, but now, dude, wow. This place is amazing. It's yeah, amazing. man, it's super bright, super colorful, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in this house. I don't know if you've seen how much of it you've seen, but... Um... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm seeing now, dude. This is insanity, what's going on around here. It's like a yeah, labyrinth dude. of awesomeness. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, this got is the, epic. Got the big map in here. Have you checked out the bathroom yet? Have you checked out the, the functioning no, bathroom? No, no, no. But I... I, I, I do need to use the little boys' room. Go ahead and head in there. Okay, well, if you give me Might some wanna, privacy. Yeah, 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 some privacy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's crazy. It's like the water even goes in the loo and everything. Can oh, I yeah, flush man. it? Oh, oh. You, just walk out. It automatically flushes for you. Oh, okay, so I've done my business. And uh, I'm... Okay, hi. Yeah, yeah you're good to um, go now. You're good to go. <laughs> give it a couple minutes, dude. Give it a couple minutes? Okay. Yeah, we, we might need to put a couple torches in there, you know. Spread the yep, fumes yep. out a little bit, yeah, yeah. yeah but... The the Ren fumes. Yeah, dude. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So listen, dude. We're, we're, here we are. We've been we've been trying to do a video together for God knows how long. Oh man, Forever. weeks, weeks, months, years. Months. Yeah. There was that that little you know that carrot muncher that came in between us, the log father. But um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think, I think you and Asuma are now recovered from that. I believe. Uh, yes, yes, I am yeah. fully recovered. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm myself again. Okay, good deal, good deal. And uh, you had you had an idea of something we could we could potentially do here on the server together, correct? Mm -hmm. That's right, man. We've been trying to figure out something to do, and we've been talking for the last couple of days, and we had a couple of ideas. We were going to make like a little mini game thing, which we could do maybe at some other point. But you mentioned that you might be getting into the uh, ammunitions business. That's correct. Yeah. Potion tipped arrows. Cool. That's what I'm talking about. And I don't think that there is a hermit on this server that actually has a potion tipped arrow. Like, That's correct. At all. That's <laughs> correct. Yeah. yeah. And actually, I have a uh, I have a potion tipped arrow farm for slowness arrows. Oh wow. Okay. So that, That's that awesome. That definitely helps out a little bit. Plus, Tango has his tectonic shop open in the Brown District, the the potion brewing shop. Mm. So that thing yep. is going to be very useful in uh integrating with with the potion tipped arrow shop nice so you're thinking okay so wait a minute wait one doggone minute dude i've come out in the wrong place <laughs> <laughs> did you go to python's base yes oh yeah yep <laughs> that happens okay. sometimes that happens sometimes yeah all right well i'm gonna get myself back up there so you're thinking potion tipped shop i love it i love yep. it next to tango's potion shop because that makes sense Correct, yeah. Right. Yep. And, uh, you know, you two are in business, of course. Oh, and, yeah. And, you know, I, I thought that we could get together, we could work on a design for the shop together, and, uh, you know, perhaps I could get a little batch of free arrows or something for for, my, for the services, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man, absolutely. But, you know, and, and uh, or something like that. I don't know, man, but I had a really cool idea for the shop, okay? So okay. check it out. This seems like a pretty good spot behind the Guardian Farm next to the Potion Brewery stand. Yep. Looking awesome. Yeah. Now check it out. I'm gonna try and do this without making it too look too ugly, right? So, <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> here's what I'm thinking. Underneath here is this passageway, this highway thing, right? And yep. uh, if we dig, well, I don't want to dig now. But if we dig, we can we can get the shop lined up with Tango Shop downstairs. Maybe we should. Hang on. Let's show everybody what we're talking about. 
Like, okay. Th yep. This always <laughs> happens to me, man. You know, it's in my brain, but yep. uh, I forget to tell everybody what it looks like. And then you people got, are like, what are you talking about, dude? You got the idea in your mind, but you just can't yeah. explain it. It's just too awesome, you know? <laughs> yeah. Exactly, it's too awesome. So, so we got, here. Yeah, we got Tango Tech Shop here, and we got yep. this advertising space here that false mm -hmm. dug out with this whole, like, little mall billboard area. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so you're thinking, you know, maybe dig up here to see if we can get the... Uh, the dimensions yep. correct, right? Exactly, like the perfect location for this thing, because we want the, the we want the shops to sort of line up perfectly with each other, right? So this seems like a really good location for that. Yeah. And hmm, if we go up, come on. <laughs> How high okay. up do we have to go? I'll smell you later, dude. <laughs> yep. Yep. See you on the other side, man. Okay. There, there we, we go. go. All right. There we go. So this will give us an idea of where we can build our shop. Okay. Actually, right. well, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still stuck. Okay. There we go. Yep. I'm good. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> Just see an ender pull shooting out of the ground. <laughs> Boom. All right. There we go. Well, right, it's... Let's see. Hmm. It's a little close to the Guardian shop, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so it's probably... We're probably going to have to line it up a little bit. Get out of here, zombie. Jeez. <laughs> trying to do work here. Get out of here. Okay, so anyway, uh, we'll have to figure that out. But check it out. Let me, let me show you the design I'm thinking, right? Okay. So it's a tipped arrowhead shop. Yep. And I'm thinking maybe above ground, we make like a really giant tipped arrow, but a 3D one, right? Um, hang on. Let me get back <laughs> up there, get the tip of it going like this. This All is right. just like a smaller version of it, right? Yep. So it'll be like a 3D tipped arrow like this. Um, <laughs> it looks so ugly. It did, it did not quite come in out the way that I saw it in my brain, but I think we might be able to do something with it. Uh, but we make like a, literally like a giant arrowhead like this, right? Okay. Yep. Kind of looks like a mushroom. Sticking straight right up. Now. Okay. Will, will the tipped arrow be like the actual full arrow or will it just be like the head of the arrow? I'm thinking it's like the head of the arrow. Okay. And then ah! there's some like, oh. I've been struck. <laughs> Get out of here, this skeleton. Is, this is why we need tipped arrow shop right here. <laughs> um, skeleton and then, snipers. All right. Yeah, man. And then the shaft of the arrow could yep. be like the entrance into the shop. So like maybe it's, I don't know, some sort of cool elevator or something that takes you down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be mm -hmm. cool. I'm digging that. And yeah. we could make the tipped arrow look really sweet, right? So we could use like stained glass and stuff to make it look tipped. And here's what I was thinking. Each like side here, right? Oops. Um, each of these blades of the arrow is like yep. a different color. Or whatever so the one is because uh, you can only you can't buy all the the arrows at the moment in this game right you can't get the poison arrows and the spectral arrows and all that stuff right right but well, that's not actually, to say well, you, well yeah. you sort of can you sort of can <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you sort of can but if we make each of these blades like re a representation of the different types of tipped arrows mm -hmm. yeah using stained glass i think that could turn out pretty cool but i like i like that idea also uh, i think we should you know yeah. make it so that you know, there's some, like, particles and stuff that stick out like this a little bit. Oh. Like the actual potion tipped arrow, you know, texture. So there'd be, like, you know, stuff like this, like, on the periphery of it. Yes, like like the, like the dripping down it kind of thing. Yeah, 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 like that, yeah. Yep. Oh, dude, that's a sweet idea. I love it. I think, that... um, I think we're probably going to have to make it really big. Yeah, because, yeah, definitely. Yeah, right now it just looks like a janky tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have a little cobble, made... cobble tree. This is a nether tree. The old nether trees right here. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely ugly. But I reckon, dude, I reckon it could turn out really good. I tell you what, dude, let's gather some resource, I, and uh, let's try something, shall we? Let's do it. Sweet. So we're on Exumavoid server, Cub. Yep. And things aren't going very well, are they? No, we're trying to come up with some type of reasonable design for the arrow, and we got something that we think resembles an arrow, but not enough to where we think it would be worth building on her request. Yeah. The people are kind of getting it that are on the server right now. They kind of know that it's an arrow, but I don't know about you, Cub. To me, it just looks really ugly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 okay, but we want it to be, we want it to be pretty, pretty great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got another idea, though, which I think could work out pretty good. And this was your idea, Cub. Now, run it by me once again, because I was a little bit confused. So when we when you get a status effect from the potion-tipped arrow, uh, we'd have yeah. something... Like, for instance, if we had, like, a slowness effect, we'd have a ball and chain show up in our... Okay. Our HUD. Yeah. Our HUD. And so I was thinking maybe we'd take, you know, some coal blocks or some other type of black block, make, like, a giant ball and chain. 
Ooh. What do you think I, about that? Yeah. Dude, I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. You, see All what right. I did there? Because it's a, a bowl and a chain and I'm picking it up. And... Yep. So this would be like the bowl here. Of course, it would be much gonna, bigger I'm than this. I'm going to go. I'm going to stand over here. <laughs> <laughs> so this would be like the bowl here, for instance. Yeah. And then we'd have like a little bit of a chain, you know, tailing off of it. And then we'd have like yes, a little yes. bit of a thing here with an entrance right here down to our shop. Oh, dude, I reckon I reckon that is pretty cool. I think that to me works better than the the arrow, the janky arrow that we've been making in the background <laughs> there, because that thing looks pretty ugly. But we're going to make this thing massive, aren't we? This ball. Yeah, yeah. Big ball, big chain. And yeah, make it make a cool drop down to our, our shop. OK, sweet. All right, dude, let's hop back onto Hermacraft and collect some coal, I guess. Yeah, let's do it, man. Hey, Ren, this is uh, this is a nervous moment for me, seeing as you were a, a past log fella. Yeah. But um, we're here at the Birchfellas Beast, the heart of the Birchfellas. The heart of the Birchfellas Beast. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thanks. Yeah. I've invaded is... the enemy territory. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He's going to turn on me again. Get my axe out. I'm going to break all the blocks. Oh. No. Nah, I'm kidding. Ah. <laughs> all right. All right. So, yeah, man, I, this is this is the Birchfellas area. This is the uh, the dual skeleton, stray skeleton farm over uh -huh. here. So we got dogs all over the place, you know, locking down the area. So yep. mm -hmm. <laughs> just in case any of these skeletons get out for some reason, they take them out. <laughs> nice. But anyways, I was thinking we could get some coal here because we need some coal for this this build, right? We need some coal yes, for the do. block. Mm -hmm. The ball, ball and chain. <laughs> the ball and chain. I've got 33 blocks of coal and 23 blocks of obsidian, but that's not going to do. I think how you've got like a stack of coal right now, right? I just I got just about two blocks of two stacks of blocks of coal. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not going to be enough. We're literally going to yeah. make a massive ball and chain is the plan. And Cub, we were we were talking right, and we want to make this this ball and chain look like it's smashed into the earth, right? It's going to be like a crater, like a giant witch flew over and dropped this giant ball of metal, and it smashed into the earth and broke everything. Exactly, exactly. And in case you guys don't know, I'm just <laughs> going to show you on Ren screen right now. Ow! That's 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 the effect right there in the upper right there we corner. Go. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. So we want to remake like a ball and chain that looks a little bit like that. Yeah, just uh, like that in the upper right hand corner right there. <laughs> Cup, dude, you shot me right in the heart, man. Look at that. You hit me right yep. in my kisser. Oh man, that's that's gotta hurt. That's gotta <laughs> Tell hurt. Tell my mama I loved it. <laughs> Rim digging the dog out. <laughs> <laughs> all right man so uh all right. we got you have a fortune three pick we're gonna mine coal with fortune three yep yeah that's pretty bold you think i'm brand new dude Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's let's get mine man let's get all mine. right let's do this so cub dude looks like the uh, log business treated you quite well man oh oh very well very well this is ridiculous <laughs> how many <laughs> diamonds do you have quite a bit this is uh I would say this is more than half of them, though, but, uh, yeah, there's still more elsewhere. <laughs> I, I spend my life on the server, like, trying to get as many diamonds as possible. I feel like I'm always poor. I never have any diamonds at all. And then I come here to do some strip mining with you, and you have, like, all the diamonds on the server. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Indeed, man, indeed, yeah. That Lytra business, the iBooks business, Woodworld, they're all making, <laughs> they're all making bank, man. They're all making bank. <laughs> So we're making some good progress here, Mr. Cup fan. One, three, five. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. We got some coal in this, not this chest, the bottom chest. There we so go. Like, okay. That's what we've gotten so far. We've almost got another full stack of coal blocks. Um, dude, I just want to say, I think your chunk out here might be broken because this is the most coalless chunk of Minecraft I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty pretty sparse with the, with the coal, to be honest. And also, there's like creepers and stuff spawning down here. I almost got blown up earlier. It's, it's, <laughs> nice. it's been it's been rough. It's been rough. It's been a bit of a rough grind. But good times with Scar has also offered to give us some blocks of coal too. Looks like he's got some raw coal hanging around somewhere. So yeah, we're getting there. We just need to put our heads down and do some stripping, like yep. our mum has taught us. Keep going, <laughs> keep going. Whoa, right. dude! Oh, whoa, Have Ren. you seen this, dude? Ren, what? Come here. You see where I'm at? Look at this. This is insane. How the heck did... What the world? Wait, this is on, not legit. There is no way to... Alright, see me in here? Wait, yeah. This... Here you are. Hi. Dude, What's dude. up, dude? Hi. Check check this out, Ren. Look, look what I found. What? That's what I said. Okay, wait. <laughs> it's a zombie spawner that has a spider spawner, like, almost directly above it. 
Um, this is awesome. Yeah, dude. Nice also, find, dude. <laughs> call in the chest, also. Call in the chest. Oh, being attacked, being attacked. Not good. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. This is crazy, though, man. I've never seen something spawn like this in Minecraft. Yeah, this is absolutely mental. Is there another one around here, maybe? Possibly. I don't. I think there was there was one we found. I'm gonna back, take a look up here, man. To the, to the beacon, but yeah, it it's crazy, man. Up here, man. Let's take a look. Yeah. No, no, that's it. But that is absolutely mad, man. That is that is crazy. Like, unfortunately, they're not very good spawners. <laughs> yeah, Spider yeah. Spider and a zombie, but hey, <laughs> it's a good find. Not, not bad, man. Not bad. I didn't even know it could spawn without the roof on the dungeon below. That's crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Because where's yeah, where would the floor be? Like, where's the floor gone of this one? Yeah, the floor, <laughs> it would be. It would be right there. there, but yeah, it's not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's crazy. There's a lot of coal around here too, though. That's good. That's a good thing. All right, dude. I don't know about you, man, but I'm getting tired of stripping. Yeah, yeah. We got a big mine dug out here, though. Pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually gone pretty some, quickly. We ran into some weird stuff. This whole area, I think, has like a coal shortage, but also mm -hmm. there's like some type of magic going on with spawners and monsters and stuff like that. There is some weird magic going on. We did manage to get a bunch of coal, though. Look at that. Yeah, that's a pretty decent amount, yeah. That is sweet. And a bunch of lapis, a bunch of redstone, so you've been hooked up over here with this little session. Also, Cub fan, dude, check it out. I've got a little present for you, man. Check it out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You ready? Boom! I'm ready. Oh, snap! Check wow, out the that's bling, a lot of diamonds. <laughs> nice nice thanks dude appreciate that yeah no worries man no worries um so we're gonna take all of this coal get back to hermit canyons and we're gonna go and raid uh, good times with scar's base because he's told us he's got a bunch of coal for us so we get in there slowly but surely my friend we're gonna get some black wool also um and that should be enough to make a giant ball of death and destruction and doom i think absolutely yeah absolutely Oh, ah, oh, oh, wow, there's so many, there's a lot of there's stuff so out here. There's so many mobs up here, this is insane. <laughs> Look at that. Be careful, be careful. What? Wow, there's so, how is there so many mobs here? What just happened there? What the? <laughs> I am so confused, dude. What? Oh no, I've been dropped. Oh, I you got shot into there. the thing. Creepers. Creepers are coming. No. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hold them off. Oh, I got hit How do I get out of here, man? I don't have an ender pill or anything. Here, I'm gonna toss. I'm gonna toss them down. I'm gonna toss them down. There you. Oh, I'm there. One of them made it down. <laughs> oh no, there's a creeper down here, dude. No. I see it. I see it. Oh wait, no there we go. Up. Okay, no I'm getting out. I'm getting out. All right, all right. <laughs> I made it. Oh my goodness. Come, uh, dude. Your land is deadly, man. <laughs> I'm never coming here again. So, Ren, we're about ready to start digging out some area here for the giant ball. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, are you, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Well, uh, my thoughts are it's going to be quite a tricky build that we're going to try and do here, Cub. I'm right. a little bit nervous. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to put it off. We've got our beacon here, though, which is sweet. Yeah, we got and, the haste. Yeah, yeah we got our haste 2 action going on. And basically what, what we're trying to do here, dude, is make the wood world circle here again. Yeah. Right? Kind of. <laughs> pretty pretty much, actually. It's going to be a very similar size to the Wood World globe up there. Uh -huh. And so, yeah, we just have to dig out an area now, essentially, is what we're doing. Yeah, we're going to get rid of all of this clay. Um, we basically, like, I think we what we want to do is clear away all of this stuff so we can see what we're working with. I mean, the effect we're trying to get is a giant lead ball that is smashed into the surface of the earth over here, right? Like, that's what we're trying to make it look like. Right, um, yeah. So <laughs> we need it to be sort of depressed in a little bit as well. So yep. yeah, that, mm -hmm. that's going to be another another little challenge uh, to sort of overcome. But I think I think we're up to it, man. I think I think it's going to turn out really well. I think it's going to be cool, man. Like the ball is going to it's like it's going to have smashed the ground and it's going to be broken rocks everywhere. Maybe we were talking about getting a bit of fire in here, maybe or some magma cubes. There's like a lot of experimenting that we can do. But I think the most important thing is that we get the ball looking like a ball. <laughs> yeah. <Number one. laughs> yep. That's the most important thing. And number two, um, that the shop itself is actually going to work, right? So what we've decided to do, guys, is put the shop inside of the ball, um, which might be the nail in our coffin, so to speak, but we're going to try <laughs> yep. and make it work. And uh, yeah, let's get Absolutely. this done, Cub. Yeah, we need it. We need it. We need to bust this out and get this done. So yeah, let's do it. 
Doesn't look like much of a ball, Mr. Cub Fan 135. <laughs> yeah, it's just looking like uh it's looking like a panda that has been you know, burnt in a fire and is now upside down facing the sky. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like this is the head over here, this is the arms. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> rip. rip. Rip rip panda, bit. yeah. I mean panda. But yeah, man, we, we gotta we gotta make this ball though. We it's 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 gonna be a challenge, but we got we got the coal out and we're trying to make like, yep, dude, I've got. A, I've just got here. a horrible feeling that we're not going to have enough coal action. <laughs> That's yeah. We got to start mixing in the wool and stuff. So yeah, mm -hmm. definitely, it's going to be a challenge. Okay, tell we you might what. not have enough. We might not have enough. You, you, you go on with the coal. I will follow you and replace with wool, right? Um, okay. So we can like teamwork this, and I think it. I think it looks pretty cool. I think the coal and the wool look really good together, actually. And we were thinking about getting some obsidian in here too. Let's have a look. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that. Yeah, works. maybe. Maybe skip the obsidian, but yeah, definitely black wool. I think could work. Yeah, that works pretty yep. well. Now I'm very happy, uh, the way that our crater looks, or with the way that our crater looks. Should I say? I think it looks pretty cool. It, it really does look like uh, this ball has flown into the side of this mountain, crashed into the side of Iskal's Guardian Shop over here, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> dented out a giant crater in the side of this mountain. I think it looks really sweet. Um, yeah. But it remains to be seen whether we can make this look good or not, Cub. Seriously, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. See let's get some out. more blocks down, and let's see where we are at in, I don't know, an hour. <laughs> Cub, dude, that looks insane from up here, it, man. The whole district looks insane, but yeah, that the big old black bowl, yeah, that's our shop right there. <laughs> that's looking pretty good. I mean, at the moment, it's just a giant black ball that's crashed into the side of Iskel's beautiful shop. But <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make it look really good. Look at this thing, dude. Yeah, it's man, epic. it looks great. Really, yeah. Oh, man, Sight good work. <laughs> Good work. We've had to actually go get some more coal because we ran out of materials. So yeah, yeah. By the you magic had... of the internet, this has appeared before your eyeballs, all you people <laughs> out there. But in reality, <laughs> Cub, we're approaching a good four hours or so now on this on this bad boy. Yeah, it's a grind to get all this coal. There's a lot of coal going into this. Do you have a couple extra blocks up here, uh, Ren? We got a little uh, bit yeah. of a mm -hmm. little bit of a spot to fill in. If you want to do the honors up here. Oh, sweet. Okay. What are we looking at? Oh, here we go. So last blocks to be placed. Boom. Nice. There we go. Beautiful. Now, we've got a couple of things to work out, Cub. Firstly, we've got to figure out how to get into this giant ball from up here. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yep. I'm assuming there's going to be a path that's going to sort of branch off from, from tectonics toward the ball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I suppose we have to figure out what it's going to look like down here. Because at the moment mm -hmm. it's looking a little bit janky. But check True. at this, everyone. Look at this. Yeah, look how dark it is, man. <laughs> it's crazy. You take these torches out, this becomes like a pit of doom right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, I don't know, this is like the heart of a demon or something that we're in. I'm feeling Definitely. anxious, dude. Feeling yeah, yeah, nervous. yeah. So we're going to put down like some chests. Let's let's get some chests out here. We'll get a like, crafting table. Okay. Put some things down here. Yep. And uh, yeah, we'll have to sort of figure out the layout for it because we want it to be a little bit more colorful than just this black in here, correct? Yeah, I mean, I think I think we should probably try and work with some some colored glass to try and represent the different types of tipped arrows you can get in here. That could be pretty cool. I don't okay. know if we want the hmm the floor might need to be like flatter, I suppose, instead of being down like this. But we're gonna have to do a bit of experimenting. I don't know, Cub. Like, this is gonna be your um, sort of part, I guess, <laughs> to work on. I'm gonna work on the terraforming outside to make the ball look a little bit more natural. Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, then we can come together and have a look at what, we, what we've what we done. But what are you thinking here? Are we thinking like, because what do we need? We need 12 chests, right? Yeah, I think we, we need like about tw a dozen chests or so, I would say. Yeah, so we'll craft up a little bit and then we'll have, yeah, I think you might be right. We might need a little bit of a, a flatter surface. And then we could sort of put like chests, you know, like around like this or something. Yeah, we could do it and like then have, that. Yeah, and then have like mm -hmm. colors, the corresponding colors sort of go up the side, the inside of this thing. Oh, Could that's be, a cool idea. Cool. So you're thinking like maybe, like just just as an example, if this was the, the color of whatever arrow it is, it would go like all the way up the wall or something like this, right? Right, yeah. Something exactly. like that. 
Yeah. Oh, that could be pretty sweet, dude. And then it could go all the way up to the top and sort of connect at the top of the ball. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right, all right, man. We've got lots of experimenting to do, Cub. Let's get down to it, baby. Let's do it. All right, Ren. We got quite a bit done now, don't we? Dude, this place is looking... It's looking pretty sweet. Like, we've gone through a lot of designs that looked terrible. <laughs> true, true. But it's coming together really, really nice. Check it out. This is what I've been working on inside of the ball. Uh, mm -hmm, trying mm -hmm. to get the different, like, arrow, tipped arrow variations separated from each other. And I think it turned out pretty cool. So we've got this platform in the middle. Yep. As the customer, you got to reach out to get your arrows. Yep, you gotta, you gotta, you know, risk your life a little bit here, man. There's like a four block drop there's, coming down here. Yep, there's like a drop. And if you drop down there, you're not going to really be able to get the arrows that you need. But it makes it kind of interesting and a, a little bit of a unique experience for the, the shopper. I think it's yeah. pretty cool. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Now, do we do we want to keep this... I have string underneath these carpets here. I'm not sure... We were talking about maybe putting like iron trap doors or something down here. Yeah, this has been, this has been bothering me, dude. Like, I don't know yeah. if it's just me, but when I see string in Minecraft, it drives me crazy. I know it's supposed to be invisible, like inverted yeah. commas, invisible, but <laughs> I, I see it so brightly, man. It's like, get out of here, string. You suck. Yeah, we'll have to figure something out. We'll to, we'll, I think the iron trap doors are the way to go, to be okay. honest with you. Well, I've got a couple iron trap doors. It does, like, okay, let's try this. Um, so, I'm going to, am I going to break something? I think I am, right? Dang it. Yeah, that'll, that'll break off, yeah. There you go. And then you can okay. just put it right on top, I think. So that should, should work Is this out an well. untested Cub Fan theory going on over here? Yeah, it does. It works. Yeah. Oh, right it there. works. Yeah, we got it. Okay, nice. Okay, so that'll that'll actually work really well. I think that's definitely going to be a, like an upgrade from the string. Um, now, yeah, you're up to something over here. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to make... Yeah, so let's, let's, go, let's go outside here, yeah. actually, Ren. Okay. We'll drop in from the outside. You've been working on some terraforming <sighs> as well. Dude, how bright is it out here? Like, we've been working inside of that dark black bowl for like an hour. Man. You, you come outside into they, the sunshine and like my eyes are like freaking out right now, man. People talk about like snow blindness. We got Mesa blindness right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mesa blindness is real. Yeah, dude. Well, yeah, you've been, you've been working on this. You've done like yep. an mm -hmm. insane amount of terraforming here. Well, All this dirt and grass and yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you're being very kind, Cub. It, it's just <laughs> dirt at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Like, there still obviously needs to be a lot of work done to this, but this is just the foundations for um, the terraforming that we're going to do here. It's going to be beautiful when it's done, though. And, uh, yeah, right. we've got this chain over here, too, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is the chain, sort of like the ball and chain of the slowness symbol for the, yeah. the mm -hmm. slowness effect. And then right here, we're going to have people drop down into the... Uh, into the shop because you know they're going mm -hmm. to tango's place yep and they see this and they're like oh what's this they drop down in here and then they should maybe <laughs> might have to work on this a little bit oh, more but yeah they sh <laughs> there we go get shot over yeah Boop. oh that's awesome okay and then we're gonna have another one like right here there's gonna be like a repeater here etc we'll have torch and then block uh -huh. and then piston here and then it'll shoot you back this direction Oh, that's Back epic. The so shop. the idea is that you'll end up as a customer, like, somewhere around here, right? Yeah, you should so end like, up, like, Whoop. just at the entrance. Yeah, right here. And then, yeah, make your purchase and then drop down and get out. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. It's actually it coming together really cool. I mean, you know, Cub, I'm not sure, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you now, my friend. Hi. I don't know what we've done here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what this is, but... It's pretty freaking awesome, if you ask me. I think it looks epic. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like it. I look like at this it, place, man. man. But look, we still got a lot of work to do, dude. We got all the terraforming to do outside. We got all the redstone to do in here. Oh, and we're going to be adding a, another bit of redstone down here, right? So if you enter the shop from down here, we have to work on this entry, right. entry zone. There's a skeleton in here. Hold on. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm under siege. <laughs> right, there we go. <laughs> We've got to sort out this entry lobby. And then yep. we're just going to have a, a thing that'll shoot us up there, right? If you're ent entering from down here. Yep. So you'll be able to enter and enter from either the top or the bottom and then exit out the bottom uh, as well. So, yeah. Sweet. We need to work on some lighting also. And actually, while I've got you here, dude, what do you think about something like this? Um, hmm. 
let me try find a spot to do this. So if we have like a like this, ignore the positioning right now. We got a magma cube, right? And okay. we throw some I O oh, O oh, wait. Ignore me. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Because we need redstone to close those doors, right? Yeah, true, yep, yep. Dang it! True. Okay, wait, hang on. Let me try something else to redeem my noobness. Okay. <laughs> what happens if we try this with just like regular wooden trap doors? Oops, hold on. Oh my! Oh, the noobness is back! <laughs> it's, it's striking again! Um, how about that? I don't know. I don't know how the wood looks in here. What do you think? Yeah, uh, I don't know how it's, much light they're going to provide. Like, if we got rid of this... Oh, that does look pretty cool, though. Yeah, well, that's like what I'm thinking, dude. That's it's what like I'm thinking. A, it's like a, like a glowing lamp of some type. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> a glowing lamp of some type. There we go. Um, I've just increased its light also by adding a torch there. See, that yep. actually... Dude, I'm telling you, man, that actually looks pretty cool. And it's got, like, a little sparkly thing going on in there. We could also use ender rods in here, too, for lighting. Yeah, ender rods might look might look nice. Yeah, especially mm. with the blackness of the top bit. Maybe make like a little shand chandelier of end rods or something. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, dude, we've got a lot of decisions to make, a lot of design work to do, and I think we're probably going to have to do this in another episode together because we we have a lot of work to do. This this freaking project started out small, and as usual, my friend, it's ended up massive. But yeah, that's the Hermitcraft server for you, right? Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it goes. That's how it goes here on Hermitcraft. <laughs> Awesome. Well, listen, my friend, it's been freaking awesome hanging out with you today. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in next time where we will finish off this thing. And may your tipped arrow profits be great. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like the episode, hit that like button. And uh, yeah, go check out Cub Fans channel, man. You're going to love it. And all of you Cubs, come check out my channel. Yeah, self, check self out Rendo. there. Self plug. Check out me. Check out all the hermits. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye, everybody. <laughs>